Hello YouTube. I don't feel like doing this later or in my car, so I'm gonna do it right now. I just got off of work. Uh, and today's Nerd Bite. Hi, Kelly Renee Miller. I'm not sure if I said that already. It's been a long couple of days. Anywho, in today's Nerd Bite, some exciting news for Sherlockians, Whovians, and Hulockians alike. The uh, there's a com a company just out of Kuwait just signed with some uh, government. Uh, entity in the UK to develop Sherlock, well, to develop a theme park based on BBC programming, and of course, what better to ma base a theme park off of than the two most popular shows coming out of America on the BBC, uh, coming out of BBC on BBC America. All things are backward today, just call me Willy Wonka. Uh, but Sherlock and Doctor Who! How exciting is that? Doctor Who theme park circa 2020, all they need to do in Kent, because it's, it's going to be stationed in Kent. They're trying to combine the glamour of Hollywood with the traditional um, UK uh, pop culture. So that'll be fun. Um, the year 2020, we are a mere five, this is almost 2015, a mere five years from finally riding in a TARDIS. That's what I hope. And I need them to, for them to find a way to do a TARDIS ride that is both b bigger on the inside to us riders, work it out science, I know you can, and is more than a motion simulator, please. Because I love motion simulators, but at the end of the day, it's only a simulated motion. Take me somewhere. Make it a TARDIS coaster. I don't care. Just a tar all the TARDIS rides. And uh, please have 221B as a walkthrough, perhaps even a, um, a haunt style thing. Or just uh, some place where you can invest uh, appropriately enough. Investigate. That's what I want out of you guys. And also, there is a, a possible. When Sony got. Sony Picture Studios or Sony Entertainment got hacked uh, earlier this month, a bunch of stuff leaked, including pitches for new films, which may include uh, a 20. Three Jump Street for the Jump Street franchise and Men in Black crossover. Yeah, because let's face it, these guys can't keep pretending to be younger and younger because they would be getting older and pretending to be younger. And at some point, you're just like, hey, you came back to, to college. And it's not weird anymore that they would actually be that an older age than they are. Um, but that, yeah, so that's in talks as well. I'll link to both those articles where I found these lovely, wonderful, nerdy things. You all have a fantastic day. I'm going to go home and attempt to sleep to be at work at 5 a.m.